have been much more happier if this evening that the issues of uh, we have a, 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 a great understanding that by tomorrow morning we will sign off issues bordering on the minimum wage. Because before we, as at the last meeting, we were very, very close to signing off. I mean, close in the sense that uh, if the figures were right, it's just to prepare a report and sign. So it's not something that is that lengthy anymore. But we have listened to them. We would take all their plea to our organs. And we would have an organs meeting, taking what they have promised and the pleas that they have made to our organs. For now, we don't have the powers to call off the industrial action, so the industrial action will continue Why we would have a conversation with our respective organs as soon as possible to lay bare what they have put forward and what they have proposed. Thank you. The wage award that uh, government brought into being in October last year, um, you remember that when we signed the agreement with labor in October of last year, it was agreed that uh, until the new wage regime comes into being, wage award of 35000 for federally paid workers will continue. And that is the position of government. Uh, the federal government will continue to pay its workers the wage award that was started last year until a new wage regime uh, is instituted. Now, uh, to make further comments about what has uh, transpired today, uh, you know that we've been indoors here with uh, leadership of both the NLC, uh, the Trade Union Congress, and the affiliate bodies to find a common ground so that labor will not go on strike as they wanted to do tomorrow. We are optimistic that given all the pleas that the leadership of the National Assembly, led by the Senate President, uh, Distinguished Senator uh, Godus Lakbabio, the Deputy Senate President, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, and all the leadership of the National Assembly, with uh, the representative of the uh, executive arm of government, led by the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, and about seven other ministers in attendance. We, we, we had a very lengthy conversation with Labour. We had a long debate with them. And at the end of the, the, end of the day, we have uh, pleaded with Labour to see reason why this strike cannot continue. Nigeria cannot afford a strike at this moment when we are facing challenges with our economy, when everyone needs to be uh, on hand to ensure that we move to prosperity. Strike is not an option at this point. And we believe that the organized labor will see reason with the federal government, the National Assembly, and everybody to call off the strike in the interest of Nigeria. We know that uh, they, they had given this warning. Of course, uh, it was uh, a surprise to us that on Friday, uh, this came about, but notwithstanding, we have, uh, continue to engage labor. We want to appeal to them once again, like the Senate President said, and we know and we do believe that they will see uh, words of uh, reasoning from the leadership of the National Assembly. They can't come to the National Assembly and say, um, you know, they will not uh, listen to the leadership. Uh, if they are having problem with the executive, the Senate President has said that he is going to wage in. He's going to talk to the president, the entire leadership of the National Assembly. We'll talk to the president on the present situation of uh, uh, the, you know, the, the agreed amount by the federal government and uh, the state governments and the organized private sector to pay 60000 They will come back to the federal government, and in turn, we expect that labor will see reason and call off the strike. We said earlier that you know, paying this amount that labor has asked for is like uh, paying a cumulative of uh, 9.5 trillion naira to only 1.2 million Nigerians. This is a country of over 200 million people, and others also deserve other services of government. We have roads to fix, we have hospitals to build, we have education system to, uh, to fix. Uh, the federal government is very sensitive to the demand of labor, but we also call on labor to see reason, to see reason and toy the part of the federal government. We Thank you, our dear Senate President, and uh, our invited guests. Three takeaways that we can go home with. One is that we have agreed to prevail on the government to revisit the issue of the 35,000 uh, uh, Nigerian workers 
Wage Award that uh, was uh, started in October last year and stopped in February. Uh, we agree with the Minister of Finance, the head of party, the NDF, that this award will continue until such a time when the minimum wage is agreed. We also agree that the NHC and TUC will go and consult with their people with the view to uh, suspend their track action as soon as possible to allow for negotiation to continue. The Minister Standard of Nadina will also be referred. Hence, in the last four hours, we have been making appeals, and we are still appealing to the leadership of the NLC and the TUC to quickly return to the negotiating table with government with a view to finding a lasting solution on this minimum wage issue. So we thank you. Without going into more details, I believe we've had very positive meetings. We get from both sides. And we are happy and satisfied that action will be taken on both sides. I feel that the strike is suspended and negotiation commence in the interest of the Nigerian economy and the interest of all Nigerian Americans.